Hey guys, I'm Tree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain you how to make a button on your stream deck so you can post automatically in Discord. So first of all, what do you need for this? You need Discord, you need a Discord server, stream deck, uh, stream deck software, and a site called If This Then That. So the first thing we want to do is go to Discord and go to uh, user settings. Uh, all the way here you can go to appearance and make sure that this box under events uh, developer mode is on because then you can see some codes and stuff in Discord itself. If you want to use a role or tag a person in your message you need to make sure to know their number. Well that sounds weird but you have to use a number instead of the role because otherwise the the bot, you, your stream deck, can't tag the person. So what you do is you type backslash and then um, and then the name of the person. So let's say this, backslash giveaway bot. And if I press enter, I can see this. This is the actual code for a giveaway bot in my channel. So what you do is you copy this and uh, paste it in a notepad and make sure you know that this is giveaway bot. So you know that if you tag this code that you will have the right person or if you just wanted to do one person then you probably know but if you want to do more multiple make sure to uh, name them so you don't forget about it. So we can put this aside for now. Okay, what you now want to do is go to the channel you want your stream deck to post a message in. Uh, for me this is going to be giveaway bot spam because well this is just a test and click on the edit channel icon, the, the, the cock wheel and go to webhooks. Right now you can make another webhook. Um, you can name the thing something, let's call it stream deck for now, but you can also just call it your own name and you can give it a picture if you want. So the person that posts the message is going to be this person. This is going to be the person. So this is the name of the person that is going to post it. So if you want to let it look like you do it, you make this your own name. Let's say Truy and make this your own avatar so they actually doesn't it isn't like too obviously that you weren't doing it you weren't typing it i guess so this is the code we're gonna need you're gonna copy this say press save go to our notepad type um webhook and post paste it here you don't want to show it to everybody anybody so watch out because otherwise people can post into your channel as you see we have made a stream deck bot here now so this is a bot that actually will do the posting for you. So make sure to set up a nice avatar and nice name that you want it to have. And now we're going to go to the hard part, guys, where we can actually make the message and post it. So first you need to go to ifthisandthat.com, which is ifttt.com. If you're lazy, it's also in the description. <laughs> and make an account. And you will see this. Um, you probably not see buttons here already because I have some things active. If you just made an account, it's, it's going to ask you which um, things you use a lot. Make sure to click on some and just go, go to that steps first. If you've done that, you will probably end up in this page. Uh, just go to my applets here. Uh, well, nothing will say here, but you can make a new applet here. The, there might be some recommendations here uh, to do, so just don't click on this. But here is a new applet. Click on new applet. Then it says uh, new applet for if this and that. We want to click on the this logo and go to webhook. So just type webhook. Uh, receive a webhook request. Uh, we want to name the event something. Doesn't matter what you name it, uh, but that's going to be the name um, the program is going to use. Uh, so let's say, well, I'm going to call it test right now just for my own easiness. But if you want to make it a going live post, you can make it going live. Or if you want to make it anti troll post, um, I have one against trolls. So if I press a button on my stream deck, a message will go off in my admin chat, adding all the mods that there are trolls in my channel in Twitch. So you might want to make it anti troll or something like that. Then create a trigger. Then that, so now we're going to say what's going to happen if that happens. We, we're going to type webhook again and uh, make a web request. The URL here is going to be the webhook that we took from Discord. 
then the method has to be post because you want to post a message. Uh, the content type has to be uh, application JSON because that is what Discord uses. And the body is going to be the text that you want. So we need to use a little bit of code here. What we need to do is grab a bracket like this and um, type con content. Just like I do, just copy this stuff. Copy it. And basically, we can type whatever we want. Uh, this is going to be a text. Going to be your text. Well, text. Can type. This is going to be your text. Um, make sure to... Oh, wait. Start it with these things. So make sure the text is in between. I don't know how this... How does this thing's called? Those things. Well, you guys will know what I mean. Make sure that the text is in neat, in neat there. And um, close it again with a bracket like this. If you want to mention a role, uh, like I said, you go to your notepad. Let's say we have the giveaway bond here. We copy this uh, code here and then um, just paste it where you want it. So now it says add giveaway bond. This is going to be your text. And then we do create action. You made a new applet. So this is done. This is working now. Okay, so now you've made the applet test or whatever you called it. And then you're gonna go to services here, which is under my applets services, go to webhooks. And there's documentation right above here. Um, if you go here, you will see a code underneath here. Make a post or get a web request to you. Um, you will see a website here, which I cannot show you guys because then you can post on my things and I don't want that. You, you can basically run my events and <laughs> that would be pretty bad. Um, so you have to copy this um, URL and um, change the word event. You see that it's in a the block there. Uh, change the word event with uh, the event name you gave it. So I gave it test. So you could, should call it test if you did the same. If you call it differently, you have to call it that way in the URL as well. All right, so we are at our stream deck. So what you want to do is drag in the website one. On the system, it is website and you can call it whatever you want. This is the test one, so we call it test. And paste the URL right here that I just gave you. Don't forget to change the word event with the event name you gave it and click on access in background and uh, then it will work. And to show you guys, I'm going to go to Discord and click on it. There it is. The stream deck bot saying add giveaway bot. This is going to be your text. This, yeah, this is going, this is going to be your text. So you can post a going lives like this. You can post anti trolls like this if you need somebody. So you can post whatever you want in here and it will work with the stream deck. If there's something you don't understand, please leave a comment underneath. And uh, I will come back to you as soon as I can. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> Bye.